off screen. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Social <laughs> Intercourse. Go. We're in June now. Yay. And we have um, a guest with us. We haven't had a guest in a while. So very excited to have Julia here with us, Hi. who is Vicky's friend. Hello, everybody. So, yes. Vicky, you want to introduce your friend? <laughs> this is my friend, uh, Julia Bella Flores. And she is um, my chingu from <laughs> Korea. We met in Korea. Um, we met online actually first. We were um, TikTok friends. Oh, nice. And uh, yeah, I followed her on TikTok. Um, I posted something. Let's, uh, we'll just start from the beginning. Let's just Julia, dive right into your, it. So, what's your TikTok, Julia? Julia Bea Flores. Oh, it's a long name. B, it's B as in, B as in boy, E double L A F as in Frank, L O R E S. So oh, nice. Julia Bella Flores. You'll find and, me with and what is the content. Sorry. For what's the what's the content on your TikTok for people? Right now, my content it's all K-pop and K dramas, right. mostly K-pop. That's what I do. I am I'm starting a, a project. Um, it's a K-pop fan radio. I have it on Station Head, and we're going full blast with the project. And it is. By fans for fans, I think fans need a voice and they want a voice. And I think fandoms are changing. And hopefully this will give them an outlet to okay. support their groups and and express themselves. Nice. It's gonna be on it's on right. YouTube too as well. The channel. Oh, it's gonna be all over. Oh we'll, we'll link YouTube it all. Also. We'll link cool. it in yeah. the we'll below. link everything on the bottom. So perfect. Um, so wait, yeah, Vicky, get into it. How did you, you get, you were following her and then you guys met in Korea? I don't know if we were following. Okay. So I posted, so I was in Korea and it was, um, Kim Yohan, this is Kim Yohan. Uh, it was his birthday and he had, um, a birthday ad on one of the big video screens and it was right across my apartment. So I posted it on TikTok and Julia commented. Cause I was like, Oh, Hey, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why it's his birthday so i posted it for his fans because that's you know kind of what we do so mm -hmm. she commented and then i followed her and then she had all this great content and she used to get on the bus in seoul and do these lives where she would just ride around the city and have her camera out the window and i just loved watching those <laughs> i miss her <laughs> wait so, yeah, yeah, so much. do you live in korea no i just i spent okay. a year there i just got back oh, okay. um, last month Two months ago, mm -hmm. yeah, but mm -hmm. planning on going back. Yeah, life is better in Korea. I just have to say it. I am so sorry. And what she's saying about the buses, it may seem like silly, but being in Seoul and waking up one day and say, I want to go see something new. You just walk out, get on a bus and just any bus, the first bus that comes in and you just ride on that bus and then you see a place and say, okay, this is where I want to get. You get down for an hour, you walk around, you eat, you see things. And there's always going to be a bus or a train that takes you back home, always, no matter how far mm. you go. And that is just amazing. It is so liberating. See, I, I I have interesting experiences about buses in Korea because I am terrible with signs and trains, cars, bus, everything. So I could not go on a bus unless somebody was with me because I'm like, where are we going? <laughs> I don't know how to, what, no, where am I? <laughs> that has changed. Um, I mean, there's so many apps right now. Like everybody would say, uh, don't use Google Maps in, in Korea because they don't really work. I, I use Google Maps most of the time and I love it because it would always <laughs> it would tell me things like, you just missed your bus stop. <laughs> it would send me a text, get off on the next, get off on the next oh, stop, cross the street and get on the bus back once, one, one okay. stop. So I'm, um, it's, it's, it's very easy. I mean, I went by myself. I didn't know anybody. I arrived in so I, nothing, no <clears throat> travel agency. You know, I just did everything on my own. That's amazing. I got there. It was awesome. It is awesome. But it, you know what? The most important thing I think, I mean, at my age or any age, being a woman is how safe it is. It mm. is, uh, such a peace of mind, you know, to be home at two in the morning and say, oh, I'm hungry. I want a snack. And you just go to the convenience store and you don't have to worry. You don't have to look back. You don't, you know, you know, you are safe. Um, 
Biggie knows. You go to a cafe and you see a table you want, and you just leave your purse there or your phone or your wallet, mm -hmm. you know, and go and order or go to the restroom. And nobody, I mean, nobody worries about that. Nobody messes with your stuff. Well, don't they say they have like everywhere? Well, I know that everybody says it's a, oh, because of the CCTV. I think it's more than that. I think it's mm -hmm. just, um, it, it's cultural, it's social. I, I think it's values. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say it's perfect. And yes, there's bad people everywhere. Um, but it's not, it's not the norm. You don't but see it. It is socially, um, it's about watching out for each other. And, yeah. Well, you know, it's like yeah. in Japan, um, like in Japan that, um, Culturally, they came to an agreement like, okay, we are going to take care of everybody's children. And you have kids that are four or five years old and they walk by themselves to school every day. And, mm -hmm. and, and every, you know, as a culture, they take care of that. Um, well, unfortunately, I, I think it's something to... we lost. I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, I was just saying about the whole walking to school. I used to go to preschool in kindergarten, I believe, in Korea. And my mom talked about how I would walk home. From, I was like, mom. You let me walk home from school from preschool on my own? I was like, what, four? And she's like, yeah, yeah, you could do it. You did it. <laughs> and you're yeah. safe. You're alive. It's like, I can't believe this. Yeah. But yeah, mm -hmm. I was independent. It is, it is true. It is. And it is, again, it is, um, I, I think that it does so much for you to have that sense of it's okay. You know, here at home, um, it's nine o'clock and my son's 34. And if he's going out, I'm concerned. I'm worried. But then in Korea, you don't, that worry doesn't exist. <laughs> like he went, my son is legally deaf and I was very concerned. He went to visit me. Um, he went, spent one month with me during Christmas. And I was concerned because I was like, you know, he doesn't speak the language. What, what's going to happen? It took him two days and he took over. He would get on the train. He would come back at 11. He would go, you know, mom, they're playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't know where, or I just met this guy and he has some cards that he's going to trade with me. And I was never concerned. All of this in the snow. And we're from Puerto Rico, mind you. We don't do snow. But, you know, he was, and, and I was at ease, more at ease than if mm -hmm. he tells me here at home, mom, I'm going to go throw out the trash. Mm -hmm. So... Just that, just the value of that, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah, wow. Yeah, we would talk yeah. about how um, we go to concerts and you don't have to have a clear bag policy. You don't, you, there's no metal detector going in where they're searching your bag for weapons or whatever. I mean, I did go through security once where they, they had like a little stop and they go, do you have anything? And you go, no. And they go, okay. Like it's not even <laughs> security. And that was at a hip hop concert because you know, hip hop's like gangsta, right? <laughs> um, but like for regular concerts and stuff, um, yep. or baseball games or anything, it was like, you know, I never felt like I had to know where the, like now when I go to concerts or I go to an event, where's the exit? What's my exit plan? What do I do if this happens? You know, what do I do? Like all that kind of stuff. And there you just, it's yeah. And everything's so organized, right? Like when you go to concerts, and the concert it's like, starting at seven, it starts at seven. Yeah. And these thousands of people and they have it like, okay, what is your number from here to, from this number to this number, from this letter to that letter, here's the line. And everybody just goes and they are very, and they very efficient in everything yeah. they do, I will you say. got the word. I think <laughs> Seoul is all about efficiency and systems. They have spent time figuring out how to make everything pale, pale, pale is quickly, you know, pale, efficient, yeah. quickly, and, and, and system, even going to the doctor. Even going mm -hmm. to the doctor, it's okay. You're in, in, boom, boom, boom. You're out. You know, it's yeah. so good. It, I, I, I can't recall making a line or waiting, or not even, not even at the train, not even at peak hour. Man, people line up. People line yeah. up. You know, to, well, to. My sister used to live in Korea for about ten years or so. And when she came back, it was culture shock for her again, because she's like, oh, everything's so slow. Like the bank is so slow. Customer service is so slow. Ordering food is so slow. It's <laughs> like, yeah, it's normal. What are you talking about? She's like, Korea is so fast. You're like, boom, in, out. Yeah. yeah. So. yeah. I mean, there's, there's a flip side to that too, right? Because uh, <laughs> Julie and I have some friends that are like, you they can't relax right there's there's no 
chill. There's no chill. Yeah. There's, <laughs> no like, chill. <laughs> there's just no chill because they're like, maybe so that's why the, the chill, that's why the drinking. That's right? the chill. Exactly. I mean, for, for real, <laughs> if I had been, say. if I had lived all my life in that poly poly culture and everybody expects quick, 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 quick. Yeah. At some moment, give me a beer. I, yeah. I need to relax so somehow. Um, but I think, yeah. I think Korea is even in that one year that I was there, I think it's changing. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think, um, all this, uh, Hallyu, you know, all this Korea being like so hot all over the place. Korea I have like, yeah. <laughs> you know, Korean friends, I have Korean, fr Korean friends from Korea, not Korea. Cause I have Korean friends in the U S and they're different. They're different. You know, it's like Completely Puerto Ricans different. from the island and Puerto Ricans from, from abroad, you know, they, we are different. Um, and, and, and a lot of them were like, they could not believe it. They were like, why, you know, why do people like Korea so much? Why do they like K-pop? Why do they like K-dramas? And I always say there's two words. It's qualitative and quantitative. Not just how many, but how good. And you can tell it, I mean, they work a lot. If there is one thing, I mean, nobody ever tell me that Koreans are lazy. I'm like, they work. I mean, they work. Like when you see these K-pop idols uh, and you go to a concert and it's like two hours, two and a half hours, and it's choreography, choreography, dancing, everybody's synchronized. That doesn't happen overnight. You know, mm -hmm. that's a lot of sweat and tears in order to get yeah. there. Um, and I, I, as a, as, as a fan and somebody I've always liked, um, I've always liked theater. I've always liked music. I, I worked in theater for over a decade and I appreciate that, you know, as, as, as a fan, as a viewer, I appreciate when I know that people go out of their way to produce, a, a, you know, a better service, a better product. Mm -hmm. And that's how I see it in Korea. The same thing with the K dramas. When I first started watching K dramas, and I'm like, "Wait, this is a novella? Like we call it back home, a soap <laughs> opera? Heck no! This is not. This is like a full fledged movie with all the quality and the twists mm -hmm. and the turns and the scripts. It's so amazing. Wow! Well, can you tell that I'm in love with Korea? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing about it. Korean dramas because I grew up on K dramas, and it was different from American TV because they had a beginning and an end and it never mm -hmm. went on for much longer. Except for one show, I think it was the longest running show in Korea. I think it was like on for 30 years or something. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, they always had like 12 to 16 episodes. And so you get, it's easily like, oh, I can do this. I can watch this, get hooked on it and have mm -hmm. an ending. And you're like, oh, okay, next one. Instead yeah. of shows here where it's got seasons and you keep going on and you're like, okay, I gotta wait for the next season yeah. or next like season. the law and order on and on <laughs> right. and on and There's characters never a come in and get out, never. you know, it, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, satisfied yeah. with the story because it just they, oh we can get another season out of it and they'll like add stuff to the end and it's like yeah, K dramas have a story arc and they go from eight. It's like a movie mm -hmm. that they just break it down into episodes, right? right? Can you imagine going but, to a movie? Well, I mean they still do that too with movies, yeah. but but K dramas yeah. now, I am seeing that there's with the popularity of everything, mm -hmm. they have added a second season or a third. They'll season. do multiple seasons, yeah. But usually yeah. they'll tie it up like the first season. Mm -hmm. is, you know, there is an ending, and, and like I think I think it works. Um, I did. I I like writing and I like reading. I have a I have a I have a master's degree in literature, um, and I was a, a literature teacher for many years. Um, and I'm a non-published writer, but I've written all my life. So when I first started seeing the K-dramas from a, from a story point, um, I was amazed when it changed from one, ep one episode to the next episode, like the episode would end one way. Don't miss the beginning of the next episode thinking, oh, they're just repeating the end. No, because then mm -hmm. it's from another perspective, you know, so yeah. it's, uh, and, and I was like, whoa, what did just happen? I remember at the beginning, I would keep on going back to end of episodes and beginning of the next episode. And the way that, that you know, that the stories are then tied and this is going to sound crazy, but uh, my first husband runs from Cuba and I used to watch um, 
from from a writer's point of view. I used to watch Fidel Castro's um, uh, speeches many times because they would last like for hours and hours. And I always, I mean, not nothing communist, but I would always admire how that man could start a speech and go sidetrack for, for like three hours. But at the end, he always came back, you know, and he wrapped it up. It was like, hey, wait, I'm going to go drive all around. and But at the end, it would wrap it up. And with K-dramas, many times it's like, whoa, where's this going? What's going to mm -hmm. happen now? We're, but at the end, I'm like, ah, it was all planned. You know, it ties up. Mm -hmm. And and I think that those twists and turns, they they have perfected how to have the, the audience uh -huh. hooked. Um, have you watched both of you one of the biggest shows now in Korea, Lovely Runner? Oh, oh God. Yeah. Don't get her started on that, please. <laughs> well, first of all, I, ad I admire <laughs> the fact I admire the fact that Lovely Runner yes, she has. Was, they 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 were trying well, he's he's gorgeous. I, I love oh, the guy. Yeah, he is. No, can't, but, can't get um, over how. <laughs> the the fact that if for over three years they had been trying to to produce it to get it going, and yeah. and really no nobody wanted it no they they knew that they wanted her um for for the female lead yeah. but none none of the uh, male um actors that they had offered it to wanted it and then the fact that here comes uh Wusok that's been around for 10 years doing anything and everything mm -hmm. and there's all these interviews about him saying, you know, in one year, I had, I don't know, over a hundred, a hundred auditions, uh, auditions, yeah. and no, no, no. And then here comes this guy and he takes it. And I'm like, you see, well, there's, that was it. That was fate. That was for mm -hmm. him. And I think that what's happening with lovely runner right now, I don't think it's ever happened before. You know, the fact that just overnight, it just exploded. Well, so no, back in the day, <laughs> This is before, like, you had to go to a Korean video store. My parents used to, my dad used to go to a video store, and you'd have to rent oh, nice. videos. But there was a show called The Sands of Time or something. It's Murashige. That show, businesses mm -hmm. would close mm -hmm. when that show aired in Korea because people were hooked from day mm -hmm. episode one. And I remember, you know, I was younger and kind of a more adult and I'm like mom I I, I can't go to school today because the video comes out today and she's like no you have to go to school <laughs> you can cool. watch it <laughs> so yeah that show was huge so uh but it was more like it was more dramatic and dark mm -hmm. it was more like yeah. soapish kind of yeah I, I yeah. remember reading about that I remember reading about one of the seeing one of the stars give an interview it's about gangsters and stuff but mm -hmm. yeah, lovely runner. The way that and it's the chemistry between the two. Stars. She's lovely. She's amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna say. I think. I mean, he's great. But I don't think that the show would be what it is w without her. Well, I. That's I what think they said. The they, writer wrote it for her or yeah. had her in mind, right? Yeah. She she is lovely. I I really I really do like her. I really so do. Like I her. wanted to ask you guys a question. Mm. Being um, you know. Wait, Vicky, did you watch Lovely Runner? I didn't yet because I can't watch something no, until stop. it's airing. <laughs> it is I have done. to wait because I'll binge done. it and watch the whole thing. So it's yeah, been I don't... finished. Come on, get on it. Just finished like what a week and a half ago or something. Yeah. 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 What's, what are you doing yeah. this last week? <laughs> but it was it was a killer. You know why? Because it was Mondays and Tuesdays that that the episodes came out. So it was all of a sudden, I didn't care about the weekend. I was like, oh, we no, can just get waiting out of for way. Monday. <laughs> like, come on, Monday. Um, yeah. I had so, to finish my 50 the, episode Chinese drama that I was watching. Those things are like an investment in God. That's why I don't so, watch C dramas that much because it's like 50 episodes later. I love them too. Yeah, yeah. Watching Lovely Runner and the chemistry between the two actors and the how the fans want them to date. They're like, oh my gosh, they have to be a couple in real life. Look at the way they are. He's so in love with her from, you know, behind the scenes stuff. They have to be together. The chemistry. It's so interesting when actors, like, because they've, there was another show that I really liked, Alchemy of Souls, uh, mm -hmm. season two with uh, yeah. Lee Jae-wook and um, mm -hmm. Ko Eun Chung, I think it was her name, the two mm -hmm. uh, leads yeah. in from season two. People wanted them to be together because there was so much chemistry. It's interesting because actors, people watch them, they fall in love with their characters and the chemistry. They're like, oh, they have to be together. K-pop idols. 
you do not want them with anybody or dating anyone. So it's like kind of a little double standard. I want them dating. Well, I not want them, I want, yeah. I know, but fa- I think fandoms are different. You know, the the mm-hmm. you know, there's overlapping, obviously, but I think that fans of K dramas and <clears throat> the fans of the the <clears throat> the regular, you know, the the fandom, the K-pop fandom that one um, not wanting, but you say these are the characteristics, and and it is right. They are very jealous of them and i think it's part of the industry Mm -hmm. it's it's not one-sided i think that that they also create that delulu atmosphere like they don't want them to be multi-stance you know if if you see these these live these Um, lives the k-pop idols they'll be like mad like you honey from monster (laughs) x like he'll get so mad when he sees somebody else you know um you know one of their fans and they're saying something about another uh, K-pop idol, mm-hmm. uh, but I think, I think that I think K-pop fandoms are are changing also. Um, I just there- it was recently though that guy from Alchemy Souls, EJ Oak, um, how he was dating this girl from a group, but they broke up because people just threw so much hate at them. But then you also like, take it, you take those well, moves, you know, with a grain of salt, don't you think? Is, is I don't know. <laughs> So my take, my take on this whole thing is that the the thing that that this K the K wave the how you wave that what the thing that they sell is a fantasy, right? The best thing that they do is sell this fantasy, and it's the same thing for K pop and K drama is that they want you to buy into this fantasy. So when you're watching a K drama and you see this couple together, you buy into that that storyline and that that yeah. that fantasy and you want that to continue in real life that's why they shift these couples because they're like oh they're mm, they're extending right. that show into life when it's k when it's k-pop the fantasy is that you know you're the, the single girlfriend. ultimate yeah right it's the your moment your name whatever thing with them and so it breaks that fantasy when they date someone in real life so that's why they get like hyper possessive of them because the fantasy that they're buying not us julia I know what she's going to say, but I'm talking <laughs> no, about the Disney, you know, you know actually, they're selling no, it to these. No, what I was going to say that it's not just, it's not just K-dramas because take, for example, Bridgerton right now with Penelope and, and what's they're his name, that, you right? know, and yeah. you go, you go anywhere on social media and all you see is everybody pairing them up. Um, and I, I think they're adorable. They're so cute. And I, I think he's like a puppy always look, but he has a girlfriend. He's had a girlfriend from before and you know those that know know and she's very good friends with his girlfriend um mm-hmm. and, and there's you know there's there's uh videos of them together a, as friends but no that's not what we want we want to see right. them together just like just you like let the, the story to keep carrying on and on because mm-hmm. then it like vicky says because if not it breaks that fantasy that, yeah um good good you know so yeah so, i like that <laughs> yeah also, there's this thing in the Philippines. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to say this and not have good data to back it up. But I saw an interview with this uh, Filipino star. And it was something like where they have these couples that they somehow get matched up early on in their career. Professional couples, not real couples. But um, because fans ship them, they're now forced to the rest of their career to be couples together and only do dramas together or only sing together. And they're like married okay. in the industry. We, I should Google this while we're talking, but it is this, it's the most interesting phenomenon. I can't, can't so, believe how uh, crazy it is. Career marriage. You're not allowed to like deviate from your work husband, work wife. Like that's, you're married and that's, you're going to start that's everything true. together and do everything together. They ship you together and God forbid you bring your personal life into that because that's the end of you. And that's um, like if um, Julia Roberts and Richard Gere had to do everything together. Because... Everything together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I have to find out what the term is. But I saw someone, um, she was talking about that. And uh, yeah, there's crazier things out there, I guess, than. than mm-hmm. But than you do have a point. The, um, the thing about the, the K pop fandoms. I think it's uh, like everything. There's the good, the bad, and the ugly, and and I and I do think that there is an ugly side yeah, of oh, K-pop yeah. fandoms, um, and and you can't hide it. Uh, it's like right now, um, 
we'll talk. He went to where was he? Singapore or something like that. And I think it was Singapore, yeah. Um, he's been followed the the thousands and thousands and thousands of women just, you know, overstepping the boundaries, uh, physical and emotional. Scary. It's scary. You know, it's scary. So there is that aspect of of uh, I don't know, delusional sick. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, I, if, if you see, this is nothing new. If you see the videos, like, for example, of the first time when the Beatles came to the U.S. Um, in the 60s. And, and if you see the fans and the screaming and, the, ah, you know, that, that we can understand that. But when you take it further, like K-pop fans will send trucks, you know, they mm -hmm. will rent trucks with protest trucks. To the, you oh. know, protesting, be, take, uh, get this member out of the group because mm -hmm. they saw him with a girlfriend or the, you know, things like that. So that is sick. These are these are not guinea pigs in a petri dish. These are men, young men in in their in their in their twenties. Um, some of them, like right now, Suo from 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 EXO from EXO, he just released his new album and he's doing all the promotions. EXO is what? Um, Suho is what? 33, 34? He's in 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 even right. then, you know, you have it. They need to date people. They need to date. Right. <laughs> there was a controversy they about do. some of them. Yeah, going they to some. Um, they obviously do. They want it undercover. Yes, for many reasons. You know, because this is their profession. Also, they're selling the artists. illusion, right? Mm -hmm. They they are selling that that illusion. That, but but when it I gets mean, out of hand, it gets out of hand. Imagine mm -hmm. being the secret girlfriend of a K-pop idol. Or a secret boyfriend like how scared you are for your life every right? time you step out with them imagine just That's being right. a friend imagine just being a friend like going out with your k-pop idol friend for a coffee and they take pictures and then all of a sudden you're the girlfriend and then the next thing you know they're throwing eggs at you, you yeah know? like they're calling your parents they're, yeah yeah they're looking up your like whole life just to see if they can find any dirt on you and expose right. you scary but there, Anyways, i think but that, is lovely <laughs> I, I think you put it you put it on, on on a balance the thing about fandoms i'm i'm very much for fans i i am a, i think i enjoy k-pop even more because of fans and like friendships that i make like vicky for example um i have uh cindy i'm in georgia and i have a friend cindy i am i am 64 cindy is 75 and we met through a fan um, of We I, um, Kim Johan, that that Vicky has the the T-shirt on. So he's my alt bias. And wait, tell tell people what that means. Oh, the bias. In case you don't know, the bias is the 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 member of the group that that is your favorite. Um, right. And then your alt your alt group is the group that is your favorite. You don't have to have a bias. You don't have to have an alt group. Um, I am a multi stand, which means that I I follow many groups. Because um, I why there's so many? Why am I just going to keep why limit yourself? Right? <laughs> why if you're at a smorgasbord? Why just, one day, there's, right? so, there's so many donuts at Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> why am I just going to have one? Why would you have one donut? <laughs> but. Uh. Um, but, but well, right, let me do the Fidel Castro thing and get back online, get back on track. What, what, I, what I was saying Sorry. was like, um, Cindy, uh, there is this, this, I, so Johan is my bias. And then I, I am friends with this girl online from Singapore that Johan is her bias also. And like, we promote him and, you know, we help each other and help him. And whenever he releases something, we pass it forward. And <clears throat> she emailed me one day and she said, Julia, I have a friend from America that's going to Korea. Is it okay if I share her, your information with her? And I'm like, sure, have her call me. Well, the thing is, she came to Korea and I met her at the airport with my We I light stick and flowers. <laughs> and we went, we had so much fun. She was there for 10 days. Mind you, we went to see where where we I you know their their company. We took pictures. It was Johan's birthday. Uh, we took pictures on all the billboards. Uh, she gave me Johan's animal emoji. Is they all all K-pop idols have an animal emoji? 
uh, that represents them. Johannes uh, bunny. She gave me these Swarovski bunny earrings. Oh, that's sweet. And we're always like, she, so she's coming to meet my son next weekend. So she's going to be staying three, three days here. Um, and again, my friendship with, with, with Vicky, it's, it, it came out of K-pop of the K-pop fandom. Um, so I, I am all, for, I am all for fans. And I don't know if you've ever, like, if you go online and you want a, a PC, that's a picture card from, from one of the idols. If you want a PC, sorry, like one of these. Oh, Aww. Aww. so if you want one of these and you're doing a collection, I don't, I don't collect them. I have a whole bunch, but I, I don't collect them. I don't know if they're valuable or not. Some of them are very valuable. Uh, I, I don't. Um, but the ones that I like, even if they're not like certified, like the real ones, like if you go to Mercari or eBay or something like that, and I'm like, oh, I love that one. I want to have it in my keychain, like this one, like my keychain. Wait, oh, so what do you mean certified? How are some picture cards certified? Well, like, because like fans will make them. There, there's some picture uh, cards that fans make. Um, or they're not the like from the album or from the event mm -hmm. from the it doesn't have like the actual the real thing like okay. something like this um but then you go online and you buy them it, just because i buy them because i like them but then you receive these letters with a whole bunch of stickers and notes and ribbons and oh my lord it's like being 16 again better being 12 it's like being 12 um, and then you say, okay, I just paid $2 for this. And this girl just paid $4 to mail me this, plus all the stuff that she sent me inside, like little gifts and things. So it's not about the money, you know, it's about mm -hmm. this, this exchanging of, of, I don't know, of the love for the industry. So I really like fandoms in, in that aspect. I don't like the songs, I, you know, obviously. But mm -hmm. the, the way that it brings people together, it is amazing. It it is it is really nice. It's a it's a good life. Yeah. Good so life. did did you guys you did meet up in Korea though? You guys went on the bus together or yeah. So I oh, well, yeah. I, I messaged I I slid into her DMs <laughs> on TikTok <laughs> and I was like, Hey, so I watch your videos. Um and I'm gonna be in a Korea. Do you wanna meet up I don't know for dinner or something like that? I don't remember exactly what I said, but she was in graduate school that time. So she's like, yeah, I'm finishing my paper. Like, let's get together when I've submitted my thesis. And so um, we didn't actually get together until about a month before we both left. We both left about <laughs> the same time. So we left a, like a week apart. So we got together and oh, and it turned out she was living in the same uh, district I was living in, which was nice because we actually lived what, Julia, like 15 minutes away from each other, mm -hmm. which in Seoul is pretty cool because it's a Big city. Where, did we, where did we go the first time we met? Is that where did we go? We did went we to the art meet, show. Did 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 we, we meet the at, at the market and we ate? No, we went to get coffee and Julie was late. <laughs> oh oh oh! Now I remember. Now I remember. Now I remember. Yeah. Now I remember. Yeah. So we we actually we did a lot of stuff together. We didn't just do K-pop stuff, yeah. but um yeah. So we met up um. Is it Korea time? Uh, Wait, it, are Koreans in Korea late for everything, or is it just Koreans in America? Because <laughs> we call I it Korea know. time. <laughs> Korean, I mean, Korean Americans were late for everything, and we call it Korea time. Because you think Korea you're time. Latinos. You think you're Latinos. <laughs> <laughs> mañana, <laughs> mañana. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. After going to Korea, I will tell you one thing. Koreans are so Latinos. I mean, they are, I can identify with Koreans so much. Like once you are not a tourist, I was a tourist. I'm still a tourist. I was always, a, I was on an extended vacation for a year. But once you get, have Korean friends and then you walk in and they accept you like part of the family, all of a sudden mm -hmm. everything changes. You're, you're like, you know, it's like being back home in Puerto Rico with, you know, with uh, grandma. But and, there's a lot of similarities. Um, in yes. the cultures. And I was talking about, I have a Puerto Rican friend and I have a um, Mexican friend and 
I was just having dinner with my friend the other night and she's like, well, we're the same. We're like, we are the same. Our, our childhoods sound exactly alike. So. Yep. That is true. I always say, I always say that for me, soul is like um, 1950 and 2050 had a baby, you know, so you still have like all this, it's like the the past and the future future. in, in, Mm -hmm. in the same place you cross the street. And you're in 1960, you cross back and you're in 2050. It's like the Jetsons, but it's like home when I was a kid, a home that doesn't exist anymore because Puerto Rico changed, the U.S. changed. I do admire that in Korea, so much is preserved. There's there's all this modern scientific mm-hmm. uh, weird stuff going on because it's amazing. It's like where are you guys? Where'd you get this? Why don't we have it? We're the U.S. How come you have that? We don't have that. Um, so they, they did something right in that aspect in being so, so, so into the future. But at the same time, keeping what is right. Like you go back home, you go to Puerto Rico, you can't find a mom and pop restaurant anywhere. Like it's all McDonald's, Burger King and all the chains, you know, the corporate chains from the U.S. That's what we have. And if you have something that is Puerto Rican, then it's gourmet. You know, now it changed. Mm-hmm. It's not street food. It's gourmet. So it's not a mom and pop restaurant selling, you know, rice and beans and bistec or whatever. Now it's a gourmet one. You're going to pay for it. But then you go to Korea and you're like, you see this hundred year old woman just like doing some japchae for you and serving. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You preserved it. You conserved. And hopefully, I really hope, I really hope that they're able to continue that, you know, that that it's not so westernized that that that, that changes. I hope the government is able to preserve um, that aspect. I think they always will because it's drilled into you since church. Like, I, th- I think that too. That yeah. history and tradition is um, part of you. It's your life. It's you have to have it, but Plus yes, it's, it's a, it's a millinery, it, yeah, you know, learn. It's a millinery culture, and and you know, and we're talking about thousands of years, and, and you notice a difference. Like somebody said, yeah, but about the food in America, the what food in America? You know, the United States is what two hundred and what years old, versus two thousand and what years old? You know, so. Uh, the food in America, like in Korea, but about the food, why don't you cook like American food? Let's do American food. There's, there is an American food there. There's, what do you want from America? Do you want um, German? Do you want Spanish? Do right. you want British? I guess the, Mexican? like there even is hamburger food. isn't really American. No, so. Hamburger. It's exactly. hamburger. Hot dogs or <laughs> like nothing is actually American. So um, it, it is it what is American is it's a mix it's it's a melting pot of all of all cultures uh-huh. in, in many aspects. Um but I, I can I can see in Korea, I can see the difference of being in a culture that has been around for so long. Um for real. It's like I was talking to a friend of mine and and I was telling him, I <laughs> so you have all this advanced like uh, doctors in, in hospitals. I was like blown away by the hospitals and the medical system there. But they work hand in hand with all this, what we call alternative medicine, you yeah. know, like yeah. the herbs Oriental and the dodges and the pressure points and all that. And I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh, that's not alternative medicine. What we do is alternative medicine, you know, all, all these, all these products, all this medicine, all, all these concoctions scientifically mm-hmm. made. That is the alternative medicine, you know. Um, and and when you're over there and you're like, wait, why are we eating this with this? And I'm thinking flavor because I, I worked as 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 a professional cook for many years. And and I'm thinking flavors, and I'm no, it's not just flavors, the combinations are because of health, you know. Mm-hmm. When you combine this herb with this spice and you base it on this and you cook it this way and you do this one raw, but you health. So it's not, and yeah. I was blown away by that. You know, a lot when of I, it was like, medicinal. So you know, it's medicinal. Also, it's it's part of. So yeah. Oh, there's so much. There's so much. But, I mean, we also like we would also talk about Julie and I would talk about um, 
sometimes, you know, South Korea can't get out of its own way too. Like it's not a, <laughs> it's not just, you know, a Nirvana or a utopia, but like even in K-dramas, you know, they, it's, that is a glamorized, just like in the U.S., like, you know, this is fiction. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of ageism. There's a lot of sexism. It has the the largest income gap between men and women in, in the workplace that women are, you know, the most underpaid of any of the industrialized nations. Like there's a lot of crap that they have to work out. That's, that's very, and you know, you, you get mm -hmm. smacked in the face with it quite a bit while you're there. We got smacked in the face a couple of times <laughs> with uh, the, uh, the a lot thing of about that. the elderly. Uh, that is, that is one thing. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to, how do you say it? I'm going to plug, plug myself with something. I did a master, I finished a master's degree in literature, but it is um, in Gothic literature from the 1800s. Mm. And a lot of people say Gothic literature. I love it. Well, the, the thing is, I think that what was happening in the 1800s is very similar what is, to what is happening today in the 21st century uh, with, with politics and, and, and discoveries in science and technology and all that. And um, if you see the response of the artist uh, in literature, for example, so there's a lot of uh, ugly stuff and, and, and vampires are back in vogue and, and all this horror. And you have young kids reading, a, you know, the, the, the manhwa and the webtoons and, and, and they're not, you know, it's, it's a strong, it's, it's, they want to like sh shake you up and say, hey, something's happening. This is our response. This is our reply to what's going on in the world. Um, so I did my, my, my thesis, my final uh, paper was on train to Busan. One of the reasons why I was in mm. Korea, which is the, the famous uh, Korean zombie movie. Um, yeah. And it was, an it's analyzed as a social commentary on Korea. And I would have never been able to do it not being in Korea uh, and not experiencing it firsthand. So it can't be just all research. You know, you you have to, if you're going to write about something, you, you want to be there. You have to go to it. Um, yeah. And ultimately, what about I, there's a lot of bad, I mean, alcoholism, um, suicide rates are, are one of the highest. Uh, you have now the thing about the, the, the birth rate, the lowest mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah, um, you have things like the B four movement and everybody blaming. Do we have time? Quickly, the B four movement. It's it's like like an extreme yeah. um, women feminist like feminist so. movement that say, well, you know what? This is how we're going to respond to the confusion patriarchy that has always been stepping on us. Uh, we don't want to do anything to do with men. We're not going to have babies. No, we don't want to marry. We don't have relationships. I'm not necessarily a lesbian, but not. I'm not going to play mm -hmm. the role that you want me to play. And a lot of people say, oh, it's it's their fault. That's why the country is in the situation that they, they are right now. But it's not true. You know, after the war, the Korean government, um, they, they, they promoted a uh, clean background. So um, that's where all this adoption in the U.S. started. Um, and then they wanted to make sure that they could provide for future generations. So the government had programs so that no more than two kids at home. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that, it's rewritten or forgotten, but no, things were not that pretty. So this is now, they're reaping the rewards of things that have happened um, um, in the past. Mm -hmm. Um, but their story is similar to the story of every country. We right. all have a story, you know, Puerto Rico has a story, the exodus in the fifties to go to the U S everybody has a story about nobody wanting to, you know, to work uh, as a farmer, work the land, everybody wanting to go to the city and, 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 and Korea is not different from, from the rest. Mm -hmm. There is one difference. Korea is a country at war because the, the war never stopped. You know, there was a ceasefire, but that was it. Right. So this is a country at war. Just the pressure. I have to go do jury duty and I'm so pissed and it's so much pressure. Can you imagine all these men in Korea that know that they're 
they're going to have to go and get two years of their life to go to the military. Who wants to have a baby before they're 30 if they're if they're going to the military? You know, the stress. So all those things, all those things add up. I do find that Korea is in a position to right the wrongs and be a great example for the rest of the world on how to deal with these issues that everybody's facing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do think that if the government uh, takes the lead now in fixing these things uh, and, and not thinking about corporate greed, which is another another thing completely. Yeah. Um, but I, I well, think that Korea- Say that for a, another episode. What? Yeah. It's, we'll it's, say yeah. that for the next episode, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I do think that Korea is is in a position to be an example, not just for K content and K pop and K dramas. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's in a position to to be an example for so much more, um, especially yeah. now that the eyes are that everybody's eyes are on in on them, mm -hmm. and and hopefully they'll work it out. I believe they will. That That's was a perfect wrap up. Them. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you just wrapped it up. <laughs> well, thanks for coming, yeah. Julia. I, like, thanks for, yeah. It's been so much it, fun to have yeah. you and I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Nice meeting you, Rachel. It's it's nice to meet you. We'll have to have you on and we'll talk about corruption and all that stuff. I'm going to have to send you some Kim <laughs> Yohan PCs, Rachel. Yes. She, oh, has, she just hasn't. We. I, I'm yes. not a photo card collector. <laughs> tell, but Rachel, tell her who's your alt bias, Rachel. Oh, um, Hanbin. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Julia, we I took Julia to the, his um, uh, ID cafe. Thing. Oh, it was cute. I like him. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. He's I my like he's him. my alt. But then I have like my um, Mister Misteress. I call them <laughs> my little side yeah. pieces. <laughs> Yeah, she has she has a lot of side pieces. So do we. I have many. I, have many. I, got, I have to go turn on DPR's new song, Saint, that came out. Everyone go listen to DPR, Ian. Love him. Um, anyways. I have we'll to go. I'm going. My, my latest is uh, The Boys. I fell in love with Q from The Boys. You have to. I'm going to. Oh, okay. I'm going to plug him in. You. This is what I think represents K-pop. I'm going to. I'm going to quickly do this. Um, there is a YouTube channel, her name or his name or whatever is, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, what is it? Um, baby, uh, yeah, this was going to happen. Anyway, I will, I will tell you, but anyway, she has. When you remember, what, we'll put it down. <laughs> we'll put okay. it down. She has what I think is the best fan cam in all of K-pop. Um, I love editing. I love video editing. And she, or whoever this person is, did a fan cam of, of Q from the boys. It's from five years ago. But the lighting, the speeding, the changing to black and white, uh, the following him, the, 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 it, it's amazing. And whenever somebody tells me, but why do you like K-pop? I always tell them. Go, go check that out. Petit baby something. Go check it. Okay. Uh, Figure the, when you no remember, error. let us know. Te text me. I put it in. below. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll put it up. I'm sorry about that. I should have written it down. <laughs> we all have. But, yeah. But yeah, I forget I think, things every second. So don't worry. <laughs> when you see that that video, like you really see that and you notice, wait a minute, the choreography. What? There are 11 members. How did they coordinate this? How is this happening? Um, yeah. I think it's like Broadway shows every time you go to a K-pop. So everyone, it's true. It's go true. check out, go check out some K-pop. Go check out the boys. Yes. We'll find this and um, go watch Lovely Runner, Vicky. That's your yes. assignment. Yeah, People. that's my next one. Nice we'll, meeting uh, you. We'll have Julia Thank back you. on again, and um, yes, we'll see you all um next week. Bye. Bye.